Hi, I'm Adeline Bebo and welcome back to my channel. I don't know about you guys, but I am loving seeing all of the twirling challenges all over social media. And this last week I got tagged in one by my good friend Teresa from the Czech Republic, whose camp I was actually supposed to teach at this upcoming summer. It's the summer twirling camp and I always look forward to it. So shout out to Teresa for tagging me in this challenge. It's called the Eilish Twirling Challenge. And so it was sent to music by Billie Eilish called Bad Guy. You guys may have heard of it, and I absolutely loved making this routine my own. What she did was she posted a bass routine and she challenged me and some of my top thrilling friends to make it as hard as possible. I loved taking this routine, really adding my flair to it, and today I'm going to teach it to you so you can do the very same. So let's get twirling. Make sure you're nice and stretched and warmed up before we begin. And to begin the Eilish Twirl Challenge, the baton's gonna be in your right hand at the end of the baton. I start with my right foot forward, my left foot back. My weight is on my right leg forward. I'm gonna circle two big swings to the front. I'm gonna loop to the back as I turn on my left foot. When I get to the front, I'm in a big second position. As I elbow flip it off of my right arm, I'm going to swing my left arm up and around and slap the baton right on top of it. So it looks like this. As I catch it, I'm gonna follow through with my whole body going down. The baton's gonna continue in that pattern here before it passes right behind your back and a matched hand pass. You're gonna continue standing up and the next flip that we're gonna do is going to be a right hand thumb flip. You're gonna circle your left arm, circle your right arm and catch it right hand back hand. As you do that, you're actually going to take a step with your left foot and then your right foot matching your arms. So it looks like this. And I catch it in a slight lunge on my left leg. After you catch that, right hand, back hand, like I said, you're gonna have your weight on your left foot. You're going to swing the baton. You're gonna actually slice it over to this side as you step on this foot. I bring my arms horizontal so they're parallel with the ground before stepping on my left foot and kicking my head here. So I'm gonna catch, bring it across, and I'm gonna step and slice through as I kick my head. I'm gonna continue turning to the front for a big flourish. And on the second flourish, I'm actually going to push down my body with my left hand and bring my knee up straight up, straight to the side. So it goes flourish, push, and then I'm going to slide the baton to the end as it goes down toward the ground, put my left foot behind me, bring the baton once again horizontal, parallel with the ground, and pull it back to catch it right on top of my elbow here. So again, I'll do that one more time where I pull it straight back. To do that, you really wanna snap your hand so the baton doesn't rotate. I'm gonna catch it here before moving on to the next part. Next, you're going to carry the baton around to the front. The baton isn't gonna really move off of its perch on your elbow, so you're gonna go from here, snap it, catch, bring it around. When you get to the front, that's when you're going to unwind the baton to thumb flip release and you're going to turn over your left shoulder to slap it in your left arm here. So I'm going to turn, watch the baton slap. Really spot the center of the baton and slap your hand right on top of it. From here, you're gonna turn around and you're going to loop outside for a backhand flip and it's kind of the same thing. We're gonna turn back over our left shoulder and slap left again before going down and passing behind us. this second slap you're going to bring your feet to the straight to the side in line with each other in a second position you're going to slap the baton bring it around in another reverse flourish over your head before diving down with it and passing it behind your left leg as you do this I want you to bend both of your knees because you're going to go straight up with both of your arms in front of you to do a second body throw down it's gonna be kind of a dramatic body roll 
like this before coming back up. And then from there, you're gonna step on your left foot and kick your leg straight out to the side to begin the next part of the routine. After you've kicked your right leg out, you're gonna step across the front with that right leg. You're gonna do a chasse to the left with a big flourish before turning to the back, doing a neck wrap to your left hand. Then you're gonna turn to the front, do a big flourish, and as you continue around, you're gonna do another kind of dip like we did before. So here, dip around, thumb flip, left to right. It's another overhand slap catch, so left to right, before turning back around and doing a right hand thumb flip catch backhand. This next trick is a little tricky, so be sure to pay attention. For me, it's backwards from what I'm used to doing, so be sure to pay attention to the placement of the baton when I release it. After this thumb flip catch backhand in my right hand, I'm going to bring the baton over my head, right at my midline, and drop the baton off of my fingertips by rolling it using my momentum and let it roll off my fingertips. So it looks like this, and I drop it down my back and I catch it right in the center. This is kind of the first phase of this trick. If you want to level up like Teresa did in her video, I want you to bring your arm a little bit further behind you so your elbow should be closer to being in line with your ear so the baton can get a little bit further back because after you drop the baton off of your fingertips, you're going to dive down, reach down with your left hand and catch it between your legs. If you find that this version of the trick is a little bit too hard for you right now, that's okay. It's something to work on, but a modification that you can do is after this right hand thumb flip, catch backhand, turn it over your right shoulder and open hand backhand release it to catch it on your back with your left hand. So it looks like this before moving on. After you've caught whatever version you've decided on in your left hand, the next thing that you're gonna do is stand up, bring the baton in front of you. So if it's coming from behind your back, bring it to the front. If it's coming from between your legs, from this back catch, bring it up. You're going to bring your hands together and you're just going to change the direction of the baton backwards to the other side. And when I go to the, from the left to the right, I hand roll so that it's nice and ready for what comes next. This last part of the routine is pretty body work heavy. So again, make sure you're nice and stretched out before we begin. I'll give you a couple of modifications if you're not quite comfortable with what's choreographed. But after this, into this hand roll, you're gonna reach straight up in the sky to begin a slice with your hands. I kick with my right leg to lay back, um, straight back, nice and straight, and come up. If you're more comfortable doing a lay back on your left leg, that's an easy modification. If you're not comfortable with a lay back, feel free to simply just kick your leg as high as you can before coming down on this left knee. I have my right knee up, my left knee is down for support. I've got my baton. Um, horizontal, straight next to the ground. I put my left hand out beside me and my right arm is actually going to circle around as I jump onto this left knee and I'm going to just kind of explode into a rotating turn on this hand. So it looks like this. My right knee follows around behind me in an attitude. I'm going to come around, both my feet are in second position. I've got my hand down. And the fun part about this is that I have a ponytail so I can do a ponytail flip and stand up for the ending. part of this challenge and what makes it a true challenge is that Teresa challenged me to make this routine as hard as I could. And what I did is I added my own little flair and I'm challenging you guys to do the same. So let me show you the flair that I added to it and see if you want to add any of this. But now that you know the base routine, you can totally make it your own. To begin my version, I start with the same big circle in my right hand before I pass it to my left at this diagonal over my left shoulder and then I do uh, another slide to the end to do another pass behind my back to get it back to my right hand. And I do that really fast before giving it that second circle. So together it looks like this. 
pass, pass, circle. Before going to the back, I kept this next part the same. And then from here, I had one of my favorite tricks ever where I stop the baton, I hook it down, and I loop it over my head before sling releasing it from my left hand behind my back as I do a head kick. From there, I'll show you what that looks like. From there, I walk forward. This is from one of my freestyles a few years back. Once again, like I said, it's one of my favorite tricks. I bring my arms up to be a little bit dramatic before catching it between my legs and my right hand there. So after I caught that trick between my legs and my right hand, I'm going to bring the baton up, slide it to the end and loop it behind me. I'm gonna bring the baton back out, it's parallel to the ground, and I'm gonna snap it back like we did in the base routine, but this time I'm going to elbow pop it and push it forward to slap it. So again, slower, I pull it back, I bounce it off that back part of my elbow first before hitting it with the top part. From there, I push my hand forward and I slap the baton on top here, and I circle before coming around to the back. I'm going to loop under my arm and open hand release it behind me to slap. But this is actually a double slap series from my solo. I love this one. Where I slap here, I bring it immediately down behind me to release it behind my back to slap it again. And so after I've slapped the second one, I'm gonna come around to the front on this left leg to backhand release it. I'm gonna backhand catch it over my head. It's not a true blind, it's kind of just right here, kind of a head catch in my right hand. As I do that, I fan kick with a lean all the way around. It looks like this. And when I come around, I sling the baton to the end to hit the ground. I'm in this double forced arch lunge, and I do a little kick out to the side and walk off to end the routine. Once again, a huge thank you to my friend Teresa for this twirling challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed learning it and I can't wait to see what you come up with. Be sure to tag me at Addy Twirls so I can see. If you wanna learn more of these twirling challenges and you need those tutorials, please be sure to let me know in the comments below. Also let me know if you enjoyed this one. While you're there, like and subscribe to my channel and until next time, work hard and be bold.